Hello all, welcome to this short version of our home RV tour. You all know we like to do a little bit deeper dive in our videos, but we wanted to get this quick tour out just to make the official introduction to our new home. Welcome to the Alliance Paradigm 295 MK. And we've always picked out our RVs for specific reasons that kind of make them special. From our 22 foot Airstream Sprinter van to our 26 foot outdoors RV travel trailer to now this short fifth wheel. Anything we don't cover today, leave a comment down below and we'll put that in our longer version of this tour. But here we are on the outside. This is a 33 foot full profile fifth wheel. You can see behind me, this is Alliance's newest full body paint scheme with the black, the white, and the gray. Matches our truck pretty good. Something that is very important to us is large tank capacity. We like to do a lot of boondocking and dry camping like this wonderful mooch docking spot we're at right now for three weeks. And so we need to have large tanks. This has it covered with 98 gallons of fresh water, two 53 gallon gray tanks and one black 53 gallon tank. So we have partnered with a handful of the best RV companies out there. And I'm gonna start off talking about some of the more ride accessories that we have on this unit. And I think the biggest, coolest upgrade from more ride is their independent suspension. So back here, each one of these tires is independently able to move five and a half inches of travel, which is really gonna give it one of the smoothest rides out there. So we're really excited to get this out onto some of the BLM gravel roads and national forest roads that have the potholes and the ruts that are gonna help get this heavier fifth wheel to some of the spots that we're used to going. Now, along with the independent suspension, that upgrade also included these 17 and a half inch H rated tires, along with disc brakes. And because we have a lot more weight going down the road, I think the disc brakes is gonna be a huge upgrade, as well as having those larger, heavier duty tires. Now, because Alliance is offering Moride independent suspension at the factory level, which is what we did, you now can get the sticker for the gross vehicle weight rating higher uh, because we have the 8K independent suspension. So normally you will have a 15,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating. Ours is now 16,800 pounds. So on a 33 foot fifth wheel, we have almost 4,000 pounds of cargo carrying capacity, which is like toy hauler range. Pretty crazy. Now, although we only added seven feet length to our RV, we actually added about four times the outside storage that we had on our previous travel trailer. So this isn't as large as some of the bigger 40 foot plus fifth wheels out there, but to us, this is a huge pass through. And because it's a full profile drop frame fifth wheel, it's really tall in here. So we did add this tray in here to kind of help organize everything. We're still in the move in process, so it's a whole lot of junk kind of going on in there. So with all of that added extra outside storage, we are going to be able to also do another one of our large electrical systems. Last time we had about 1200 watts of solar and three Battleborn game changers. So about 810 amp hours of lithium batteries. And this time around, we're gonna partner with our favorite Battleborn batteries again, and also a new partner, Rich Solar, for the solar panels up on the roof. So there's gonna be a nice, fun electrical system going in here. Are there any guesses what it'll be? We are still going to be rocking our 2021 Ford F-350 Tremor. That is a one ton single rear wheel diesel. And that thing so far has hauled this fifth wheel beautifully. Now, because the truck is a short bed Ford, we don't have the eight foot bed clearance to 100% guarantee that this front of the cap is not gonna hit the back of the truck. So we did end up partnering with Pullright, who arguably makes one of the best automatic sliding fifth wheel hitches. So there is no chance of this front fifth wheel hitting the back of our cab. So as we make a turn in the truck, the fifth wheel slides back and 100% we're covered, which 
is really important to us because we travel full time and we're usually going to a lot of new locations, unknown turns, things like that. So we definitely wanted to make sure that we didn't have any issues there. So a couple more notables on the outside before we head in with Chris are the three Coleman Mach-Q air conditioners on top of the roof, which is pretty amazing for the 33 feet length. There's six point hydraulic auto level on it, three huge slides, as well as two big awnings that cover pretty much the entire patio side. Welcome to the inside of our home. As Aaron mentioned, this is the shortest of the Paradigm lineups, but as you can see, this lower deck is amazingly spacious, and it's what initially attracted us to this specific floor plan. We're gonna start right here in the mudroom as you come inside. We have this great little area. You can wear your shoes straight here, drop your shoes, and I feel like it's something that's been missing in a lot of RVs, especially as full-timers. We have a lot of shoes, we're very active, and we absolutely love keeping this area tidy, having somewhere to put all of our shoes, having these benches is great, and we've already proved that when guests come in and out, they can sit down, spend some time, the dogs have their toy box, the dogs like to watch these amazing windows, which is another huge, perk for us is just this view. It doesn't get any better than that. We work a lot, so we need to have that outside view come inside to make our days better. We do have a three-person sofa here. Traditionally, this unit comes with a two-person sofa, and it comes with a dinette table here. So we opted to make some changes on our end. We got rid of the table completely. We switched the two-person sofa to a three-person sofa to try to maximize the seating because the rear sofa that normally comes in this unit, we made a desk instead, a beautiful two-person workspace with a solid countertop that matches our kitchen. And we are absolutely head over heels with this desk. We can both work here, get an amazing view, we have all of the charger stations that we need, both above the desk, below the desk, plenty of storage for our office supplies, and we couldn't be more happy with our decision. As of right now, Alliance is not offering this yet, but they are considering it and they are listening to feedback. So if it's something that you are interested in, reach out to Alliance directly, let them know that you saw this and that you love it. We'll put a little link below to contact Alliance. We have upper storage, that's incredible. Um, speaking of the windows, it does come with the full blackout curtains. And then one thing that we really like and that we were excited for are these day shades. So as we're sitting here when the sun is beaming, it really cuts not only the light and the glare, but also that heat that comes in. And we can't get enough of that view. So we like to keep those open as much as possible. Another thing on the window is we have these great big opening sliders. So when you open up all of these windows this way, you get an amazing cross breeze in here. And right now we're parked in the shade and we have the breeze and it keeps so cool in here. It's incredible. Another thing we did to maximize seating is we chose these office chairs that pull out, they swivel, and they are great for additional seating if you're having people over and entertaining. Having them armless gives them that more just non-office feel. We get a lot of comments on these chairs. So far, we're really happy with them. They're functional, they're beautiful, they're pretty affordable, and you can't go wrong with any of that. We did do felt tips on the bottom of them instead of the roller because we didn't want to be rolling on our floor back and forth. And so far, we love it. And while I'm here, I have to point out our fireplace. It's not on right now. I should turn it on, shall we? The fireplace is incredible because it gives you that ambiance and it can be with heat or without heat. So in the mornings we like to come downstairs here into the lower deck, have our coffee, turn the fireplace on and just relax and wake up slowly. This also pulls out to an amazing storage space. We have all sorts of goodies in there, our workout equipment. We have a queen bed mattress blow up so that somebody could stay here because we got rid of the sofa sleeper. We wanted to just have something for guests. 
In our extended tour, we will be doing more opening and showing and telling. I know everybody loves to look in people's cabinets and see how we organize things. So let us know if you have questions on anything specific on the inside that you would like to see on that video. Moving into our favorite room of the house is the kitchen. I have this stunning island countertop. I love all of the accent lights that we have in here throughout the unit. This is so great for food prep. You all know I like to cook and I love every inch of this kitchen. The sink is nice and big and the faucet is just so residential. It's a great space to work. It does come prepped for a dishwasher. We don't currently have a dishwasher, but if we wanted to, we could put one in right here. We might do that down the road. We wanted to get in and see how we like it and see how much space we have for storage. And as you can see, there is a lot of storage space. I brought my booze block for chopping and I brought my air fryer, which I hide back behind the TV. And I'm really happy that it does hide there because I'm trying to keep these countertops as clean and clear as possible. So when I use it, I just pull it in here, right there. Sometimes I'll open that window to vent the heat out and the outlet is hiding behind the TV, plugged in all the time, so I never have to juggle with that. We do have this great big pantry with lights in there that are automatic. And what can I say about this fridge? It's 20 cubic feet. It's a long, long way from our Sprinter van when I had three cubic feet. And it's 12 volt, so it's perfect for all of our needs where we're running off of electricity. I can fit so much in here. Freezer is plumb full. We're still using our Berkey. We're still doing the filter system outside as well. So we have outside filter, inside filter for our drinking. The stove and the oven, completely residential, huge. I've been baking in here already. I made beef bourguignon. I've made mac and cheese. We've tested out with a few pizzas. I've roasted veg. It's incredible. And the stove top, I absolutely love as well. I still have my induction burner, which I store in here. And I'll pull that up in those times where I don't want to use propane. Same like I did in my other rigs. The microwave is big. Storage is big. This backsplash is one of our favorite things. We love how white and bright this kitchen is. And we love just the floor plan and the overall look where you walk in and you're just greeted with the brightness rather than heavy cabinetry or something that's not so welcoming. So this lower deck overall gives us the huge homey space that we wanted and the two opposing slides really provide that for us and we spent so much time in this lower deck that we wanted it to be the perfect layout and I think we nailed it. So now that you've seen that let's go up to the upper deck where just having this divide is something that's new for us. Having a separate bedroom with a door is so exciting. In our bedroom, we have a queen bed. Normally, it comes with the king, but because it is a little bit shorter up here, we wanted it to feel open again, have some feng shui in it. So we got the queen so that there is more space to walk around. And there's these little nightstands for the bed so you can put I don't know, water, soda, whatever you're drinking. Louis likes it. Um, there is a ton of storage underneath this bed. And we have full size mirrors, which is the first for us that we love. We have a step in closet. I was so excited to get more closet space. And we even have a combo washer and dryer. This is a Splendid. So it washes, it dries, it saves space. We did consider going with the separate, but we really wanted to have more storage and leave the other side open. And that's been great because we keep all of our dirty laundry there when it piles up and we keep our Dyson Swiffer stick or whatever it's called. We love the Dyson. I vacuum in here all the time and this closet is great. I was a little nervous about how it would drive if all this stuff would rattle loose, but it stays nice and tight. Nothing falls out. So that's awesome. Dresser, also more clothes, storage, tons of space, a lot more than what I was used to having. And then we go straight to the bathroom where it's basically like an onboard master suite, but also it has access from the hallway. So it's really nice when you have guests because they can enter in from the hallway and then at night we can enter in from the bedroom. And it's a nice little bathroom. I love the countertop color. This is a new color from Alliance. Um, I love the storage. 
not much bad things to say because it's a great bathroom gets the job done the shower is massive i really like the big glass open doors it just feels really nice and tall you get the sunlight you get the bench that folds down in the shower so if you are on full hookups and you want to leave the water running and take a nice long relaxing shower you can so that is it for the inside it's a quick tour we will be doing a longer one so drop those questions thank you to all of our partners thank you to everybody for watching and we are so excited to take this thing out and keep our adventures rolling